Hello everyone and welcome to this um, FWE show. We have the number one contenders for the Lightning Championship. We have Hayden versus Jack versus Matt. And later tonight we will have. Later tonight we will have uh, the Broken Clowns versus. Uh, clutch crew, and then we're gonna have FWE Bala for the tag team track, and then we're gonna have FWE Bala versus Abyss in the main event for the FWE Championship. Anyway, so this is an elimination match to face Harvey next week. Hayden looks ready. New attire. Here comes Jack, the former FWE Lightning Champion, wants to take revenge after Harvey took his championship away from him. Here he is. Jack. First ever FWE Lightning Champion won it at New Year's Chaos versus seven other men in the first match, but unfortunately lost to Harvey. Now Harvey has the championship, but he did in his run, I guess. Anyway, he did get one point for FWE. With that triple moonsault that he does, his finisher. Which is really insane. No, the move. The triple moonsault is really hard to reverse, and if it hits, could be game over. Because. It has so much momentum on it, it just goes, it just goes in the sky, does a triple moon salt and it comes crashing down. Anyway, on to Matt, the first ever FWE Lightning Champion. Matt Solman. Bring the WWE Universal Championship to FWE. Lost it to Abyss, but Abyss threw it in the trash. We found it in the trash today. So soon, next week most likely, we're going to be having a match for the vacant championship where we see one of these men go up against Harvey for the FWE Lightning Championship. So... It's going to be pretty insane next week. Two matches already been released. And here we go. Ring that bell. And FWE is on the way. Jack and Hayden know each other pretty well. They go after each other. Spear to Matt. Jesus. Straight out the gate. And now a strike. But then something happens. I think Matt pushed um, Hayden to the rope. Hurricane Rana to Matt. Jack. Taking advantage of this match, he wants his championship back. Elim remember, it's elimination, so once you pin someone, it is not over. You have to eliminate the other person. Jack with a big, big boot. And then sends Matt flying into Hayden. Hayden now take down on Jack, trying to break his guard. He manages to do that just a bit, but then has to get off him. Matt trying to hit the back of Hayden. Hayden, oh no. No, 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 this makes me really uncomfortable. Who, oh, but it hits like the side thing of, wait, what's going on here? A beautiful Hurricane Rana. But yeah, if you, if you look at that move and you're not uncomfortable, I don't know what is wrong with you. It is a disgusting move. Even Knight said it. Oh, wait, wait, Hayden. Oh, shot! 
Last shot to Jack. And a cover on Jack to eliminate him. Oh, only at one, though. And Hayden just taking complete control of Jack. Elbows to the arm. Oh, roundhouse kick. Oh, massive drop kick. Remember, Hayden has yet to win a championship on FWE. He's won two. Well, I would I would say two. He's won both of them. Like he's won three championship reigns because two TGM and the Continental title. Oh, a big knee. But it looks like Hayden dodged it anyway. And well, one broken shot, which I believe he stayed through the whole entire thing with. But anyway, he has yet to win something in FWE. He is the odd one out. Jack has won something in FWE. Matt has, I guess, won something in FWE. So this could be a big break for Hayden because he also knows Harvey. Jack also knows Harvey. Matt doesn't know Harvey. Hayden trying to break the guard of Jack, but he got a pretty good guard. Hayden's going to be putting out everything that he's got. And he's going to go for it again. Is he trying to break that thing that Jack has on him? Because it's damaging Hayden's foot as well. And Hayden with the spear to Matt. And it could be over. Oh, no. Here we go. Last shot to Matt. But a big boot. Hayden goes down. Jack is now working on Hayden. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Drop kick. Jack may be known as the Warrior Jack or anything like that. And a nice drop kick. And Hayden then brings Jack down. And a bit of clothesline from Jack. Bringing Hayden down. Oh, a nice roundhouse, I think that was. And then Hayden taking Jack down, but he's getting his guard up. Oh, but Hayden breaking through it. And look at Hayden, he is feeling this. And now Matt back in. Oh! Celtic Warrior Sword. That's it for Matt. Jesus! That's over for Matt. Now we have to eliminate Jack. He jumps out the way. Now forearms by Jack. Using them metal things as an advantage. And trying to break the back of Hayden. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, no, Jack's looking for the cartwheel Pele kick. Here we go. Cartwheel Pele kick hits the mark. Cover on Hayden, that's his signature move to get a rematch with Harvey. He's done it. Oh, no. He's done it. Jack is getting a rematch with Harvey. Oh, no. This is not going to be for the faint of heart next week. We're going to see the rematch, Jack versus Harvey. Here we go. The tag team titles match.
So Psycho Clown, the one with the blue and red hair, and Nightmare in the black and white. That's what we found out. That's what their names are. Anyway, Clutch Crew, the first ever FWE Tag Team Champions Night, the second ever FWE ta FWE Champion even. Lost it to FWE Ballot. Um, Knight said, um, We can't let this happen, Finn. We need to work together. We can help you by protecting you, you can protect us. He wants Hayden to fire Abyss and his clowns because they creep, uh, they creep Knight out and they don't seem nice. And as, as a response to me, um, there was an error in the response, and it's this weird code that is just came across. You can try and work it out if you want. Maybe a bit hard. On FW. Remember, these are pre-recorded, and this, I think, would be coming out two days after my birthday, so, <laughs> bit of coincidence that clowns are showing up two days after my birthday, but okay. Here we go, tornado tag match. One match away from the... Remember, this is not an elimination match. But one match away from the um, three stages of hell match. Pretty much means that you'll go through one match. FWE, Balor and Abyss. And then if, if the person who loses wants to give up. Then the person who won will win the belt. And then you go again if they don't give up. And then if they've given up then, th th pretty much it's just three matches of insanity, and whoever wins, they win. But in FWE, you can't add the third match if you lost the second. Both people have to win the first, and then the other person who lost the first round has to win the second, so... And that's as long as you don't give up on the first round, so... You should go through tables or anything. But first, let's concentrate on this tag match of Gut Buster to Supergroup. I'll be watching him the most because we've seen what Knight's capable of. Supergroup has not really been known with the FWE universe until the tag team division came around. So, because he hasn't been in many matches. But now he's got his chance to prove himself versus these two things. Clowns or whatever they have, whatever the hell they are. Anyway, what is Nightmare doing? Just did something to the arm of Night. The hell? Oh no, Nightmare, Nightmare. Oh, just trying to break the skulls, crack the skull of Night, Jesus. And a Uranogi. Oh, look at these kicks. What is Psycho Clown doing here? Throwing Supergroup to the apron. And he does not look like he has good intentions. What is Nightmare setting up? Oh, he... Supergroup blocks it. Looks like he is looking for a move on Night. And now Supergroup recovering. Oh, no. Samoan drop time. Samoan drop by Psycho Clown. And hooks the leg on Supergroup. Knight recovers and breaks it up. And Nightmare's just standing there. Looking down at Supergroup. And now looking at Knight. 
these two clowns just doing some sort of cum communication that only they would understand because Nightmare's just standing there what happened there oh he's trying to run to Supergroup oh what is going on here Psycho Clown setting up Night onto the turnbuckle what is going on they're sitting Night out but with Night Elbow onto the back of the skull to Psycho Clown and then Nightmare Jeez. No, what is Nightmare doing? He's biting. He's biting Night. And it's worth mentioning. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I do say this. Oh, broken clowns. No. Super Groot was so... Super Groot was... Just a bat so close. No. Oh no. Here is your winner and new tag team champions, Broken Clowns. Someone needs to take these championships off of them straight away. Oh my. Anyway, what I was going to say is Knight said. Me and Super are going to wear our new titles with pride. Anyone who tries to take it will lose. We're going to have these titles for a very long time. And gonna be... me and Super are going to make history. And then he... Yeah. I just can't watch the FWE Balor Abyss match. FW Bella needs to pull out something. Oh my. What the hell? Someone just cut my mic. But he's coming out with a chainsaw. Someone just cut my mic again. Something's cutting my mic. Thank God, my mic just got uncut. This will be a steel cage contest. Here comes FWE Balor, looking to defend the FWE Championship tonight. Anyway, here he is, the FWE World Champion. Looking really confident tonight. Can't let your confidence... Just can't let your confidence overcome you. Especially when you're against someone like Abyss. Oh yeah, I know that theme tune's quite late, but... It's Finn Balor's entrance, and... That remix is really fast, so... Don't blame that. Sorry, I can't get enough of this theme song. Anyway, yeah, the FWE World Champion. FWE Balor. 
looking to defend it in a steel cage. You can escape, you can use submissions. If you escape, then I doubt your teammate will give up. You need to pin or submit at least. But the question is, if you could make your opponent, opponent give up in the first round, not go into any more, that will just be the easiest life for you. Anyway, like I said, Steel Cage is the first stage in hell. FWE World Championship on the line. And we just saw the Broken Clowns take the Tag Team Championships. Will Abyss be able to take Finn Balor's Championship, the main championship we already took? The FWE Universal Championship when it was new. And then beat Matt again. He is on a winning streak right now. And FWE Balor beat um, Knight for the, this championship opportunity. Oh no, he saved FWE and then beat Knight to get the championship, should I say. And look at... Oh! Gutbuster. I usually call that a recoil, but it's Gutbuster. I thought it was a recoil. Anyway. This is going to be... And it, another gut battle stuff. Finn Valor just... Look at this! Finn Valor was giving it all. Two gut busters. Just launching into... A fish just launching into Finn Valor's knees. Twice. And then he's just straight back up. How? And a massive clothesline. But then Finn Valor with the sole kick. And a clothesline. Anyway, what did we see tonight? We saw... Jack becoming number one contender. For the uh, FWE Lightning Championship, we saw um, the tag team titles get taken. Super Groot was just this close from becoming... No! Oh, the Plague Mask in the eye and Abyss is going to look to escape. Uh-oh. Abyss is escaping. Oh, yeah, just to make, you, just to make it sure... I'm not playing as Abyss because it just does that whenever a computer is escaping or going for a ladder. So I am not playing as Abyss. If Finn Balor escapes, like tries to climb out the cage, then yeah, look, he's trying to do it now. It will come up. See, and I'm not, I'm not clicking any buttons. You would hear my controller. So. Anyway, Abyss just slamming Finn Balor's knees, or FWE Balor's knees, against the cage. And another Plague Mask into the eye. Oh, and a massive spinning puncher. And Abyss getting up from the ropes. I doubt Abyss will give up anytime soon, though. And a knee, no, FWE Balor's knee just being targeted. And he falls off the rope again, well, gets thrown off the rope again. Oh no, 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 Sister Abigail! That could be it, the first stage of hell. Could be Abysses. That's it! But the question is, Abyss gets to celebrate with the title, but after... Right, yeah, FWE Ballard just got out of the ring. Now he just has to say to the official outside the ring if he wants to continue or not. And I'll get the uh, official response. But if Abyss loses, how the hell is the official... Anyway. Wait, right, hold on, I'm getting the news now. FWE Ballard wants to continue. This next match is scheduled for a tables match. Right, here we go. Both competitors for the last match, the steel cage match, have been damaged. Especially FWE Balor from the sister Abigail. If Abyss wins here, it doesn't matter. Finn, FWE Balor, or Finn Balor, has lost. If FWE Balor wins here, then we go to a tiebreaker. So, if Abyss gives up or not, if he loses, it won't matter, it's a tiebreaker, which will be a TLC match, 
meaning there's chairs underneath the ring, there's tables on the outside, and there's ladders where you climb up and then you retrieve the championship, and now FWE Balor getting to the outside, is that really a smart, oh, just sizing up to FWE Balor, oh, misses the kick, that could have been his opportunity to get a, um, strikes and strikes him, but it looks like he goes for an Irish whip, and now FWE Balor gets the possession, just throws him away. Oh, FWE Balor wants to bring us into the ring. Oh, wait, no, he's going to the outside. So pretty much FWE Balor has to win this match if he wants to still have his uh, FWE Championship. And uh, everybody's rooting for him. He needs to. Thrown into the ring. This isn't the fastest match, I'll give you that. But... Sure as hell will be gruesome to the groin. Abyss is just waiting and elbows to the shoulders. Wearing down the arms. Gonna put the arms to sleep. Oh no, 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 no! Abyss to the top. Oh, we look for a double knees. Look for two knees. Just, oh, to the midsection. Looks like FW Balor went to get a table. Abyss rolls out the ring to go get the table, but then they realise that it's both up. Oh, Abyss manages to catch FW Balor out, though. And a spine buster. And now Abyss goes to get the table. Abyss said he's not messing around. He will take revenge on FWE. Well, mostly the people in the TGM show. He will win all titles and all of that. Because he felt disrespected in the TGM show. So he's showing everybody what he can do in FWE. And he just put that plague mask, mask that long bit in the plague mask, just nearly deep inside. Sister Abigail! Deep inside of FWE Barrow's skull. Oh no, and a massive claw to the. Oh wait, FWE Barrow! Back up! Oh! Brings Abyss down! What the f- Is that- That was Abyss's old lantern! He just dragged it from under the mat! A massive forearm! Abyss looks stunned! And a massive chop! Oh, oh. Samoan drop. Abyss trying to retreat. He looks stunned. FWE Balor. Nice kick and a drop kick. But the table goes down. FWE Balor getting the table, setting it up in the middle of the ring. This could be the only time someone can beat Abyss. He looks really stunned. FWE Balor just pulled the lantern. Of Abyss from out of nowhere. Obviously, Abyss came with a um, chainsaw. But where did it come from? It just came under the mat. Pele kick. Abyss needs to get back into this. Well, no, he doesn't actually. Keep it this way. Body slam. And he does a flip. Oh my god. Nearly putting himself through the table. Come on, FWE Balor. Don't be playing around. Not at this time. And you've got the man stuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, mandible claw. Mandible claw. Fingers deep down the throat of FWE Balor. Oh. Now, look at FWE Balor. He is not in good shape. Got way too cocky. Pulling out the lantern. Now just getting his arm twisted. Wait a minute, wait a minute. FWE Balor just strikes to the midsection. And here we go. 
Gut buster. And Abyss is straight back up. I've got a massive forearm. Balor to the top of the knees. Knees by Abyss. Throws him into the table. But an FW Balor with the reversal. And now Abyss. Oh, strikes. Knee. Oh no, 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 no! Oh, I'm putting that plague mask in the ear! Abyss is not a human, he is a psycho. Throwing FWE Balor into the table chop! Sending FWE Balor down. Sister Abigail! Oh, I think it's over. Abyss looks like he has bad attentions in his eyes. And a massive chop again. What's he doing with that table? Oh no. Oh, whacked with the table. Right. Abyss just destroying FWE Balor right now. Throwing him against stuff, but then FWE Balor is back in this match. Double stomp to the midsection. He's trying to get back into this. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, into the table. I don't think this is going to be a very happy ending. Oh, no, 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 no. Powerbomb through the table. Wait a minute, look at this. What is wrong with Knight's face? Knight coming down. Knee! Kick! What is wrong with his face? The stomp! To the new FWE champion! Another one! The stomp! Another! The last stomp! To the FWE champion abyss! Wait a minute, who the hell? Where did, where did Abyss go? The one you need! The one you need! Is that... That can't be! That... That can't be! Is that who I think it is? That, no, that isn't Super Groot, is it? No way, he's... Right. The one you need! The second time. What? That's his own tag team partner. If I'm not mistaken, one of his best friends. Knight is just down. He just did three stomps to RFW with Champion Abyss. He disappears. And now the person who is doing his own tag team partner's move finishes three times to night and is wearing the same top with the same stuff on it apart from the front it's not ha ha it's die die oh my god that's it for this episode of oh no way no night's not done night's not done Knee right. Oh, knee. Just brings Knight down. It's over. Elbow. Knight with a kick. Trying to fight back. Oh, grabs the neck. Knee to the neck. 
What is going on? Oh! Knight crawls outside the ring. And this thing, I want to say it's super group, but... You never know, it may not be. It may just be someone messing with Knight. But it's not funny, and oh my god, the one you need! It's over, Knight. Knight is just out. Someone needs to seek medical attention right now tonight. That's it for this episode of FWE. I hope you enjoyed, and it was pretty hectic.